Hi everybody, welcome to Gear Gossip. Tonight I'm going to cover a boost pedal. Yeah, a boost pedal called the Ace Boost, straight from the flat and friendly Netherlands by Colin Elfring, one of these. We do everything all by ourselves uh, and from scratch boutique manufacturers. And the pedal, the Ace Boost, looks like this. Yes, you're right, I said pedal. <laughs> That's a chunky one. I've reviewed M's that were smaller and lighter. Being a boost pedal, uh, this thing is sort of limited on features, but I will cover them anyway. When you take this thing out of the box the first time, there's two things that you notice. One is the weight, all metal, feels nearly indestructible actually, and the decent artwork. That's the side of Boutique that I prefer. The other side would be a plain aluminium case with magic marker on it. Very esoteric and very cool and very pro. Huh? <sighs> on the decent looking front, you'll find a switch, an LED uh, that indicates if this thing is working or not, in case you don't notice by your ears. A dial for the output. A tube. Yeah, we have a tube in the circuit. Ha, we always need tubes. Well, we are guitarists. The usual suspects, input, output, and a completely unusual suspect, a remote control in. Yes, you can control this device with another switch and any other multi-pedal, whatever, nah, more on this later. Remote in, nice feature. And yeah, you can not operate this thing on batteries. There is an AC adapter included. For the very curious of you, uh, the signal chain would be a guitar, obviously, the booster, Mesa Boogie Subway Blues, Grossman Audio Isolation Cabinet with an Eminence 1218 in there and a Shure SM57, just for convenience. Then back into this microphone preamp and from there into this multi-FX that I'm using for monitoring only. And then uh, into the computer. The first thing that I would like to cover in terms of sound is output. Uh, how much boost is in this boost? So this is the Mesa Boogie, um, everything pretty flat. Uh, gear gossip clean <laughs> and the bright switch is engaged. Both humbuckers. Mm. Warm and friendly. And now we're going to engage the Colonel Fring. Uh -huh. The third up. This is already classic lead. More. <laughs> Quite a lot and fully open bridge humbucker. This is classic crunch. Um, but it sounds like my amp, actually. It's not a distortion box. It's just boosting. But how much is it? Well, let's just um, put it like this. This is the amp fully open. And that's the Colin Elfring. <laughs> It's somewhere between a little sufficient enough and too much. I cannot imagine that I would need more. I have the same level of gain with a Colin Elfring from Clean than diming my amp. Hmm? One thing that you don't need in a boosting pedal or in any audio device is noise. And the output of this guitar and any guitar is wimpy. This is just a tiny little signal that leaves your guitar and needs to be amplified quite a lot. Huh? We're talking hearing damage in the end of it and the first stages of gain. Lifting up from barely audible to huge. This is where things get ugly. So now we're going to check how much we have in there. We are not talking hum, we are just talking th. Huh? Hum is guitar, th is amp. Um, we could turn down the guitar for a change. And now, the amp, fully open.
more noise. <laughs> eh, how's that? Yeah, this is just the quality of the first gain stage. If my amp is the first gain stage, uh, it's just maybe not that high quality as the Colin Elfring. So there's more amplified along with it. And if I use the Colin Elfring, that is less noisy, my amp has less work to do. There's less from the amp and almost none from the Colin Elfring. So using the Colin Elfring as a booster or in your signal chain for raising gain, you have less noise. The worse you ramp, the better the effect. Huh? Now for the thing that you're all waiting for, the sound. How does this box sound? Uh, difficult. Warning. There's boosters that cover the bass range. There's things that emphasize the mid range. There is these scoop things. And there is, of course, the treble booster section that take care of the... Uh, uh, okay, there's a reason that I call treble boosters. And what's the Colin Elfring? Is it flat as a ruler? Is it scooped? Is it... Um, I guess it doesn't sound at all. It's flat. But... And now I want more. Ha! I have more. This clearly sounds like my amp. But if I compare this... Especially in the bass range, it sounds a little bit less defined. More like... Not much, but a little bit. As opposed to... Hmm, maybe with humbuckers, bridge. More definition on the bass strings, more definition on any string, and clarity, to put it like this. But it does not change the sound in terms of equalization. Mm? But this is again due to the nature boosting the front end of your amp. It changes the guts, to put it like this. It's not telling anybody, ah, more treble, more whatsoever. It changes the circuit. Another gain stage, very high quality, less work for your amp. Um, yeah, more of your guitar is coming out of your speaker. Let's try for extreme settings, fat, Ho 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 woo, woo, woo. So this is Mesa Boogie High Gain. And now including the ace boost. Oh oh oh. <laughs> I would have expected, yeah, my amp farting its guts out, but it doesn't. It stays. Focused. So we have covered output enough, noise none, sound um, well improving your sound and not changing. Oh, what else could you wish for? You could wish for some information what you could do with this box actually. Application, very obvious, boost your guitar sound. There's millions of guitarists running to guitar stores looking for more output pickups, higher output humbuckers, higher output single chords. But you can't help changing your sound when you're changing the pickup. And there's no way around it. So if you want to have exactly the same sound, but just a little bit more, you need 
a booster. There's no way around it. So if you feel, ah, oh, these Saber Duncan 59 is exactly the sound that I want, but my amp needs a little bit more kick in the butt, um, use a booster. Maybe a call in Elfring. Channel switching. Yeah, this is the second very obvious thing because it has actually a switch. So if this is my gear gossip clean sound, hooray! Solo! You could also run over to your amp and just... Uh, it's not very practical, I guess. So this is just another channel for your single channel amp. Huh. Um, along with this, the information that it's remote controllable. With the right gear, you could pop, switch on the delay, the chorus, and the second channel of this amp, because it's remote controllable. So there is no need for tap dancing. It could be remote controlled with a programmed sound. And the last thing that I like to cover is levels through your whole setup. Imagine you have a guitar that I cannot demo right now because there's too little output in these humbuckers. This is your humbucker guitar, high output, very heavy metal. Um, you're playing in a cover band and you have a multi-channel setup, multi-FX, choruses, delays, reverbs, and everything is very detailed. This is my clean, this is the crunch, this is the high gain, blah, 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 blah. And all these gain and output levels go out of the window if the guitar doesn't work and you have to change over to the single coil section. Yeah, the single coil guitar that you're only using for sounds of swing and long train running and because all your gain and output levels don't match anymore. Booster on. The sound will change, single coil is humbuckers, but the output levels and the gain levels will be the same as they were before. So much for me fooling around with the Ace Boost by Colin Elfring. Summary, solid build, great sound quality, no noise, various applications. If you need a booster, make sure that you check out the Colin Elfring. For more information, check colinelfring.com, I guess. Well, I'll write down the link here. And please bookmark geargossip.com. Um, yeah, that's it. Maybe Colin Elfring will send me some of their M's, so this, there would be more to cover, I guess. Well, see you. Mm -hmm.